Hey everybody, Robert Mack with Irvine Real Estate Link. Your link to the information that you need to make the right decisions. Now, if you live in Irvine, you know there's a great amount of inventory right now in terms of resale homes. What you also know is that the home builders are building brand new homes at the same time. So there's you know new homes in Portola Springs and uh, in Woodbury and Columbus Grove and areas like that. However, there's a new community that's currently being built called the Laguna Altura Project of 2011. And uh, I've been getting so many phone calls on this uh, up and coming community that I thought I'd make a quick video on it uh, to share with you what preliminary information that we have uh, so that you kind of have an idea of what to expect, what the timelines are, what types of homes will be built what types of homes they'll be building, and things like that. So as time gets closer to the grand opening, which is going to be on May 14th, if everything goes as planned, it may be delayed, it may not, but the, the tentative grand opening is May 14th, at least you have a certain amount of information uh, to help you with uh, you know, choosing the right track, figuring out what you want to do, and things like that, because really the more you know, the, the better you can you know, create a plan of action. So there are going to be four new tracks, builder tracks, being built in the Laguna Altura project. Now, Laguna Altura is on the 133 freeway. If you've ever gone to Laguna Beach, you take the 133, and right by Quail Hill, there's Laguna Canyon Crossing. So it's right on 133 and Laguna Canyon. And uh, it used to be called Laguna Crossing, and they've changed it to the, to the Laguna Altura project. Now, they're going to have four builder tracks. The, the, uh, the lowest priced versions of these homes are now keep in mind all these homes are detached either detached condos or detached single family homes so there won't be any attached units so the lowest price home in this community is going to be in the starting in the low 600s and they'll go above a million dollars so just as a frame of reference if you're looking for anything below 600,000 this community probably won't work for you and if you're looking for an attached unit this community probably won't work for you so the Sienna homes are going to be ranging from 1,618 square feet up to 1,788 square feet. And the prices are going to be starting in the low 600s. Now, the Sienna is going to have 195 homes built on a total of 19 acres. So the, these are going to be considered single family detached condominiums. I'm sorry, single family detached res yeah, residential condominiums. This, the second level is the San Remo homes. These homes are going to be a little bit larger, 1,881 square feet up to 2,094 square feet, prices starting in the low 700s. They're going to build 164 homes on 16.8 acres. And these will also be considered single family detached condominiums. The next level is the Cortona. These are going to be larger homes, square footage of 2,380 square feet up to 2,962 square feet. These homes are pricing, starting pricing in the low 900s. Now, they're going to have 152 homes, Cortona homes built on 25.2 acres, and these are going to be called, considered single-family detached residential homes. And finally, the largest of the, four, of the four plans is going to be the Toscana homes. These are homes ranging from 2,806 square feet up to 3,133 square feet, Prices starting in the low $1 million price range. These, they're going to have 86 of these homes built on 15.7 acres, and these are going to be considered single-family detached residential homes. So there are going to be four different tracks in the new community of Laguna Altura, ranging as low as 1,618 square feet up to 3,133 square feet. Prices starting in the low 600s and going up over a million. Now keep in mind, when they say the low 600s, you want to understand that the new home builders have a standard uh, material that they use, whether it's carpet, tile, granite, uh, lighting, fixtures, things like that. So if you were to purchase it the way they build it, there won't be an additional fees. However, if they, they do offer upgrades, which can make the price of the home go up. So if you're looking for upgrades and premium cabinets or premium granites and premium carpet and things like that, you know, make sure you take into account that that's going to cost more than what they're actually selling as a final product for their standard version of this home. Now, at this point, I don't know if they're cooperating with agents yet. So I don't know if I can help you negotiate the best price and terms for this property, but I will keep uh, doing research and I, and I hope to get more information as soon as possible once I find out who the builders are. And once I get that information, I'll definitely send an updated video letting you know if 
the MAC team can help you negotiate the best price and terms. If they don't cooperate with brokers, then unfortunately, you're really on your own. But we're always here for advice if you need us. So I hope this was helpful. If you or anyone you know is looking for a brand new home, I hope this was helpful. And if you're watching this video and you know someone who could benefit from watching it, please share it with them. Uh, we really appreciate that. And you can always leave comments or feedback below. And if you have questions, concerns, our, our contact information is below. And if you want a starting point and you don't know where to go, check out my website, irvinerealestatelink.com. There are so many great buyers and sellers resources out there. And I'll talk to you soon.